Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. Today I'm going over this circuit I built. It is a first in first out circuit. It was uh, asked, requested on a r slash uh, redstone post on reddit. So I decided to take a stab at it and this is what I came up with. It's not the fastest circuit in the world but I think it'll work for what the original poster wanted. So here's, here's what I did. So right here we have our levers. So we flick on this lever and after it goes through its repeater that's simply for demonstration purposes those repeaters are not necessary uh, as you notice this when this is powered our output on the left is on when we turn it off and then wait a while but the output on the left turns off and it's the same on both sides so i come over here and that should be enough to show on and off all right so, but where this really has an advantage over a normal uh, circuit where it would just be on and off, I mean, for both, is if we have both flicked. So we flick that one and we flick this one. Notice what happens. This one's on and that one's on, but only the left output is on. So that means only the first output is on. This is similar to an XOR gate, but not quite. Um, I don't know what to call this other than a first in, first out. Um, almost a queue, but it only has two, so I wouldn't really call it a queue. If you could somehow expand this to the nth degree, which would be really, really cool, I guess you could have a queue. Um, but so if you notice, if we turn off this, what happens is, bam, once this turns off, this pushes back, and the and the output changes, switches this one, making it a queue. So this one turned on. When this one relinquishes its control, this one has a chance to come in and, and take over the thing. Um, they should they should both fire at the same time. I actually don't know what happens if you try enough. Flick, hit up, hit both the inputs at the same time. That'd be interesting to test, but I don't know easy way to do that. Uh, actually, well, let's hook up a button here, or just simply link them together with a little bit of redstone and just see what happens. Cause uh, I don't think it'd break anything. I think that it would just go one way or the other. It may be random. I haven't dealt too much with that side of pistons before, just simply because it's a part of pistons that I don't like dealing with, the little bugs and stuff. So I try to make this as bug free as possible. So the both output, it looks like it'll just pick one side and go to it. And if we relinquish the control, it should just end up back in the middle. And uh, that, that's the basic idea of it. So it's using falling edge detectors. And uh, and obviously it's using a, a block that's contested by a couple of pistons. So uh, what happens is, is when we come over here and... Let's break this. Come over here and we trigger this. What this does is it pushes a piston, pulls the piston back because it goes through a knot gate, which triggers on this output, which starts the falling edge detector here. Um, if you don't know what a falling edge detector is, it determines when the output turns off, and, and then it and then it sends a red snow signal when that turns off. So, so it pulls it back, and then it sends up the signal here to reset that. So, if I was to come over here and, oops, see how that worked? No, of course not. Uh, if I was to come over here and trigger this. What happens is this push this pulls back, but it has nothing to pull on, so it doesn't trigger this one's output. But when we come over here and turn this on, this relinquishes its control, pushes it forward, triggers the falling up the falling detector because obviously as this signal turns off, this is now able to fire and it pulls it back and now this side's on. So it relinquishes the control, so it basically takes the first one in, gets to have the control, but after it relinquishes it, it allows other sides to have control. Um, the post actually specified this is for a game design. I suppose if you're having like a a turn-based system or something, this could work. So if you wanted people to take turns, one person pressed a button, one person, the other person did its thing and whatever, and it just keeps track of whose turn it is that way, I guess. So if we turn this one on and turn this one off, it'll work the same way from both sides. This one pulls and that one pulls. So it could be used for a turn-based system or something like that. Um... But other than that, I don't see too many practical applications of it. But it's a cool circuit, and it'd only be really be useful, I think, in a larger scenario if you could increase it to the nth degree, saying I have any inputs, and this one goes on first, and then if that one was on, then this one you fires and fires and fires, just like a queue would. But I don't think that's possible using the current Minecraft technologies. It'd be interesting if it could be done, I'd, but that's a project for another time. I hope you guys enjoyed. I was going to put this in an Imgur album, album, but I really couldn't find an easy way to do that, seeing as this is a little bit of a complex circuit to explain. But other than that, guys, I'm Angry Beast. I'm signing out. Catch you guys in the next video.